another full house here at Ellen Road to greet them as well. And that includes spaces in the away supporters section. Blackburn Rovers only took half of the allocation available to them, so the other half in the West End has been filled with home fans. And the Leeds United side that will play this game this afternoon is exactly the same starting eleven that Leeds United fielded in the game here seven days ago against Queen's Park Rangers. So Pablo Hernandez, who of course came on as a replacement in that game, is fit, as we've seen, but only takes his place on the bench today. Blackburn Rovers are also completely unchanged from the side that beat Sheffield Wednesday last weekend. The man who scored the winning goal for them is the young guy who's on the bench there, John Buckley, but the same starting eleven. And there will now be a moment's silence, and then the last post. Poignant moments here at Ellen Road as 35,500 people pay their respects to those who've fallen. And then Ailing further infield. Roberts lets it run for Dallas. Now it does open up in front of Stuart Dallas. Still going, Stuart Dallas. Chance to shoot! And he takes the chance to shoot, and he gets it just a little bit wrong. It rises, and it clears the crossbar by a couple of yards. But that was the first proper opening of the game. And it was, it was a brilliant opening, a great opportunity as well. He, um, he looked like he was going to shoot really, really early, Klitsch. But we have to look at Patrick Bamford's run here. If it wasn't for Patrick Bamford making a run across um, Klitsch into the left channel, he wouldn't have had the freedom, the space to, to get a, a shot off. All over the top, won't arrive at Patrick Bamford's feet, but it may pick out Tyler Roberts from the clearing header. Tyler Roberts under pressure from Downing. Tyler Roberts does well, initially at least. Still has the ball at his feet. Held across has gone wide. What a lovely ball to Luke Ayling. Oh, and Ayling still going forward. And the referee's given a penalty. Foul on Luke Ayling. And it all came from a quite delicious pass from Tyler Roberts. Ayling just about got away from the defensive challenge. Adrobayo it is who made that challenge. He's unhappy with the referee's decision. But the ref had a really clear line of vision on that one. And he pointed straight to the penalty spot. Patrick Bamford with a chance to put Leeds United ahead. Huge noise around Ellen Road, his name rings out. Perhaps just a little premature, he's got to put the penalty away first. Leeds United with a chance to make the first mark on the scoreboard. Bamford steps up and Bamford rolls the ball into the yes. far right corner of the net. It's the perfect penalty. Patrick Bamford's back. Really Leeds United is. won, Blackburn Rovers nil. Absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely over the moon for the guy. He has been working his socks off for the last however many games, and he's been unlucky not to have scored. Today, he gets his name back on the score sheet. Look at that very calm and composed uh, penalty there. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, and that's exactly what he needed. That's what's been lacking from his game. A little bit of confidence. He's got it back. I'm so happy for the guy. And the celebration really show how happy he is as well, don't they? Because sometimes Everybody. with a penalty kick, it's just a little, I don't know, high five or whatever. But all these teammates gathered squad. around him there. They're pleased for him. The crowd are pleased for him too. Now Phillips, he's midway inside Leeds territory, but there's a lot of space for him to run into. And he delivers the ball over the top for Patrick Bamford, who controls brilliantly. Harrison with a chance. Oh, it's hit the post. It's in from Jack Harrison. The ball rolled into the back of the net, off the foot of the post, and Leeds United have doubled their advantage in double quick time. Leeds United 2, Blackman Rovers nil. Harrison back on the score sheet. Exactly, and that was fantastic, and this is exactly what Leeds United have been lacking the last couple of weeks, apart from Saturday's game. Look at that pass from Calvin Phillips right into uh, Patrick Bamford's path. Great control from Patrick Bamford. First time, what a finish. <laughs> right into the corner, hits the post and he in. Did, he should, did he mean that? Of course he meant it. The goalkeeper had no chance. Absolutely no chance. That was fantastic. Great football from Leeds United there. And that's exactly what I wanted to see a little bit more of. Patrick Bamford came back on side early, uh, dropped the shoulder, ran in behind the centre-halves. Great first touch. The first touch was absolutely amazing. Look at that. Confidence. Patrick Bamford, one goal, one assist. Amazing. Spot on. Well, Sam Gallagher's definitely in the penalty box now, as are numerous other Blackburn Rovers players, as Downing swings a good-looking ball in, and there's the header back, and Blackburn Rovers 
are back in the game. The corner kick dropped right onto the head of Williams, and Williams arriving in space with a, an easy header, to be honest with you, past Kiko Casilla and into the back of the net. Leeds United 2, Blackburn Rovers 1. Yeah, and it's it's this seems to be a, a common theme, you know, uh, defending set, pe uh, set plays. It's, it's, he's let him go a little bit. So I think Williams has got a, a little run on, I'm not sure who it is, maybe Luke Aylin. Um It was a great corner, it was great movement. You know, it was a bit too easy, I think, for myself. Oh, well played. Holder Cox is offering plenty for Leeds as he skips through two, three challenges and pours forward for Leeds. Now Harrison is in the penalty area, left foot! And he's hit it hard, and maybe just a little too hard. It's a rising shot, and it carries on just over the crossbar. But Leeds turn defence into very swift attack there, with Helder Costa playing a big part in that. And the first chance of the second half falls to the feet of Jack Harrison. It goes over the bar. Yeah, it was it was brilliant football. Helder Costa, I think he rode about three or four challenges in the middle of the park, and he, he should have been given a free kick, but he stayed on his feet really, really well. Looks down the line and plays a short pass down the line to Helder Costa. Costa makes good ground forward for Leeds now, really moving. Helder Costa goes through the gears into the penalty oh. area, and it's still in there for Leeds. Harrison's underneath it. Oh, great Harrison touch. onto the right foot. Still Harrison oh, in there, and then a foot defending. to clear the ball away from Harrison as he was ready to pull the trigger on another shot. Leeds come again. Dallas up to Tyler Roberts on the edge of the area, into Harrison again in the penalty area, onto the right foot, back to Tyler Roberts under pressure, comes out to this near side and Liam Cooper drives the ball in and Walton gets a palm on it and pushes it out to the far corner of the penalty area and good play from Leeds and it almost ended up with a spectacular strike from Liam Cooper almost on the byline. That was amazing. <laughs> Um, held a Costa on the on the right wing. Just he just ran in a straight line, and nobody seemed to to stop him or get in front of him. He got a cross in. Jack Harrison, great first touch, pulled it right into the middle of the pitch, to the edge of the penalty area. And Travis, Travis nips it really cleverly beyond Dallas, and then the low ball is an easy cut out for Liam Cooper, and then Click unceremoniously whacks the ball as far forward as he can. And Tanner Roberts almost does really well mm -hmm. with that. Doesn't <laughs> quite manage to control the dropping ball, but leads. Oh, well, there was space cool. there. And they can't quite exploit that opportunity. And then Calvin Phillips steps in brilliantly for Lees and his foul, surely. Calvin Phillips gets an advantage call from the referee. And then the challenge on Phillips is a good one from Elliot Bennett. He's had a good game for Blackburn Rovers, the right back. He has, he's been solid today, hasn't he? He's not let much go, uh, not let much past him. His positioning's been very good as well. Oh, is this Cooper? Liam Cooper's just gone down. dropped to his haunches and then sat down on the turf. And that's with the play. Nowhere near him, and I think maybe just a little knock on the ankle perhaps here. The physio is called on. Well, I think there's going to be a change, there is going to be a change made yeah, anyway Berardi's shortly. Such, so Berardi's him. coming on, which does look like Liam Cooper's afternoon may be over here. And then Liam Cooper, yeah, shake of the head, that's him done, I'm afraid. Liam Cooper has just got, I think it looks, he doesn't appear to be moving too unhappily, but no. he's not good enough to carry on with the game from this corner kick now, which Calvin Phillips will endeavour to do. Ball is swung into the near post, heads go up in there, and Bamford oh. almost gets on the near post flick from Ben White, but again, enough blue shirts around the ball to get the ball clear as far as Dallas for Leeds United. Dallas, Dallas carries the ball and then knocks it wide to Helder Costa, comes in from the touchline, swings the ball into the penalty area, oh. and then White the goes in for the game. challenge, but he's just eased away from the ball by Niambi, and there's a little uh, high five between two of the Blackburn defenders there because it was good work in the middle just to keep Ben White away from a potential attempt on goal. Yeah, it was great defending there and Patrick Bamford's complaining about a, um, a, a tug on the shirt but if I'm honest, it was going both ways. So the corner kick from Downing on the near side. Plenty of movement in the box. Casilla goes up and cool and calm, collects the ball, drops to his knees, gets back Tyler up Roberts. again and throws out quickly to Pablo Hernandez. First touch for Hernandez, lovely ball to Patrick Bamford, that's the quality. And okay. then it's played to Tyler Roberts, and Roberts has Harrison going just outside of him. He plays it into Harrison now, chance to drive, oh! oh! Just wide from Jack Harrison, right across the face of the goal there. And leads so, so close to the game, the goal that would surely have wrapped up the game. Yeah, and that's, that's fantastic football, exactly what we wanted to see earlier on from Jack Harrison. I wanted to see him flash the ball across the goal, hit the target, make the goalkeeper work. He was unlucky this time, he flashed it across the goal, 
You see Patrick Bamford, could he have slid in to, to get a touch on it? I don't think he could. I think it was a little bit over hit. Um, but get it on target. Get it on target. Make the goalkeeper work. Down the line to Jack Harrison. Goes back short of Dallas, but he gets a foot in anyway. And Harrison may win the header back for Leeds into the middle of the park. Well and then it's really well won back by Ben White, who nips the ball out to Harrison on the near side. But again, beaten to it by Bennett. And then look at the white shirts he's around the him. ball. Tyler Ott's great win back for Leeds. And now Click has space. And Bamford's trying to time his run well. Roberts in possession for Leeds United. Roberts with the drive. Oh, and the keeper pushes the ball behind when it looked like it might be wriggling away from him there. A low, hard drive from Tyler Roberts. And Leeds United get a corner kick. I think Patrick Bamford was looking a little bit frustrated there. And I think he was in his he's well in his rights too. However, I don't think he, he was in a position to receive the ball, if I'm honest with you. Stuart Downing with the free kick for Blackburn from the halfway line. Heads up on the edge of the box. It's headed away as far as um, Bennett. And it comes out for Buckley on the edge of the area. And he stabs the shot goal as it's cleared away. Blackburn still with the ball in the danger zone. Leeds have to clear this away. And they do through Berardi. Look to the linesman. Nothing given there in terms of offside. The ball comes back again. Now there's a chance for Leeds to break. As Bamford it comes it time him. and space. And the run from Tyler Roberts through the middle. Can he knock it wide for the on-racing figure of Pablo Hernandez? Still going, Tyler Roberts up towards Click. And now Bamford with a first-time oh. drive. And it was on the half volley, and he couldn't get his foot around the ball enough to get it on target and goes wide. Yeah, it was. It was It was interesting football. It wasn't intricate. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't necessarily um, set, uh, sensible football, if I'm honest. Um, it, it kind of bobbled all over the place, didn't it, between players? Um, Klitsch managed to bop it up just on the edge of the 18-yard box, and Patrick Bamford was coming onto it, and he didn't really look that comfortable when he was when he was attacking it. We're now deep into added time on added time here. The 95th minute has been and gone. Leeds United 2, Blackburn Rovers 1. Leeds on course for a big, big win as it goes oh, towards the corner, the corner flag now. Bamford has to do his best to keep it all oh. unceremoniously knocked to the ground there, but the challenge is it a clean one. I think it is, and there's words between Bamford and Bennett, yeah. and the referee steps in between the two, and a bit late in the day, not necessary now. I think Patrick Bamford was unhappy about that, but Leeds have what they want. They have the ball yeah. in the corner with the throw-in, and now there's a little, hopefully, a little conciliatory pat between the two players. And Patrick Bamford has the ball, and there's the oh, final yes. whistle! And Leeds claim another home victory, it was tight. But they've done enough to win the game, and Leeds stretch the unbeaten run, and Leeds United will head into that international break, able to reflect on another important three-point afternoon here at Ellen Road. All the goals in the first period, Leeds United built a two-goal advantage, Blackman got themselves back in it, but ultimately Leeds did enough in the second half to claim the victory. And it's Leeds United who will take the acclaim of the supporters and Leeds United who will feel that they are keeping things ticking over nicely now final word Jermaine worthy of that victory this afternoon absolutely absolutely I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed not to have seen maybe one or two more goals but you know it was a it was a, a very accomplished um, performance I think the guys did very well I think um, ultimately three points a couple of goals that's, that's pretty much what you want. A clean sheet would have been nice, but, you know, ultimately, uh, Kiko Casilla didn't really have much to do. So, as a as a, a manager, I'm sure the boss will be very happy with, with what he's seen so far. There's, there's obviously room for improvement, but, you know, there's been a couple of goals, there's been a lot of opportunities, a lot of chances. Um, just need to be a little bit more ruthless in front of the goal.